Welcome back to our AI in action powering up with Power Automate series. In this video, I will cover how to use AI prompts in Microsoft 365 Copilot. Before you follow along with this video, make sure to have gone through all the prerequisites listed in the description below. Without further ado, let's move to my screen to show you the demo. Here we are in Copilot Studio. I already opened the homepage of Copilot Studio, and this is where you can create your own custom Copilot or you can extend a Microsoft Copilot. On the left side, we have the navigation. There are a couple options here. You have the Copilot option, which you can select, and that's where all your custom Copilots live. And we have extend over here. And we are gonna click on that now because this is what we want to do today. We are going to extend Copilot for Microsoft 365, and we're going to create a prompt plugin for that Copilot. So when you click here on Add Power Platform Components, you will get a choice to select the Power Platform component of your choice. There are a bunch of options here. You have conversation plugins, you have prompt plugins, you have flow plugins and connector plugins. But today we are gonna work with the prompt plugins. So I'm gonna select the content and insights option here. When I select that, it will open a new window where I can select add a power platform component as an AI plugin. And next I want to generate content or extract insights because that's the prompt plugin. When I select that one, it will start loading the prompt builder and this is where you can add your prompt, you can name it, you can provide inputs, you can test it out. And that's what we're gonna do today. First, I want to show you something else though. Here we are on the Microsoft Adoption site on the Sample Solution Gallery. This is a gallery where you can find all kinds of samples. In this case, I already filtered on the Power Platform prompt samples. So you can see a whole bunch of prompt samples that have been created by people in the community. For this demo, I'm gonna use a prompt that's also in this gallery, and that's the IT expert prompt, and that has been created by April Dunham. As you can see here at the bottom, you have the prompt in here, so you can easily copy and paste that and use that within your own prompt plugin. And that's what we're gonna do today. The prompt here instructs the AI model to act as an IT expert. And when I provide a problem, the IT model should come back with a solution and it should explain the solution step-by-step step and with bullet points. I'm gonna copy this prompt and go back to the AI plugins where we have the prompt builder. I'm gonna paste the prompt into the prompt section I can add a name to my prompt. So I'm gonna call this IT expert. Next, it also shows me that my prompt must have at least one input. And I want the input to be here at this placeholder. So I'm gonna add an input on the right side and I'm gonna call this problem. I can also add sample data here. And the sample data is also available in the sample solution gallery. So here we have a couple of example inputs. In this case, I'm gonna copy the second one and I'm gonna paste that into my sample data field. The last thing I need to change now is I need to replace the placeholder and remove that from my prompt and then insert the problem input that we just created in the prompt builder. Next, I want to test out my prompt. So I'm gonna go to the test prompt button. And because we already added the sample data at the input at the side, it can already run the prompt and show the response from the AI model. This typically takes a couple of seconds before uh, we can see the output. And here we go. We can already see the output. It um, used the blue screens of death. 
uh, issue that I had, and they used that to give me a couple of solutions. So what we can see here is that I got a couple of solutions, six different solutions, and it's all provided in bullet points. So I'm pretty happy about this prompt. So let's save this custom prompt and click on that button. Now it's time to show you that the prompt plugin also works in Copilot for Microsoft 365. I already opened Teams and I clicked on the Copilot icon in the left navigation. But before I start sending a message to Copilot for Microsoft 365, I need to make sure that developer mode is enabled because I want to check if and when I send a message to Copilot for Microsoft 365, it really triggers my prompt plugin. So to enable developer mode, you need to send a message to Copilot for Microsoft 365. And that message is dash developer space on. And when you hit enter, you will see that it successfully enabled developer mode. The next step is to enable the plugin. And there is an icon for the plugins in Copilot for Microsoft 365. When you click on that, you will see the plugin fly out. And here you can enable all kinds of plugins. Because we created a prompt plugin, it will appear under Copilot Studio. And because I am a global administrator on this environment, I have a whole lot of different plugins available here. But if we scroll down, we should be able to see the IT expert prompt plugin in here, and it's already enabled. Now let's try out our prompt plugin. I'm going to paste a text here. I need IT help. My printer is not working anymore, and I'm going to send that. As you can see, Copilot for Microsoft 365 responded with a lot of bullet points with solutions. Here you can see that you can check the power and connections. It gives you a step-by-step -step list how to do that and all kinds of other solutions as well. When we scroll down, we can see the developer information. And here you can see all the enabled plugins. And in this case, it was only the IT expert that was enabled. It showed the max, matched function where you can see IT expert as well. It shows the selected functions for execution, which is the IT expert. And lastly, you can see the function execution details. And here you can see that it was a success to trigger this prompt plugin. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the Microsoft Power Platform channel to receive a notification of the next episode in our AI in Action Powering Up with Power Automate series. See you soon.